Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. Hey folks, so in today's video, I'm taking you along to Kani Zen. It's on Thompson Road in Wancho, and my friend Fat Ass Loves Food on Instagram suggested it to me. You should check her out. She's always eating some amazing things. Fairly easy to find. Sometimes these trendy places in Hong Kong are hidden away, but this one's got a nice big sign. Once you're inside, you're greeted by a huge tank of lovely crabs. These ones are all the Japanese Hokkaido, uh, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Matsuba crabs. And you can tell Kani actually means crab in Japanese. So Kani Zen, this is about the Zen of crabs. And they even have tiny little crabs in a fish bowl there. And it may seem a little bit cruel, but you know, we keep fish in bowls and the other crabs are gonna get eaten. So they probably got the good side of the deal. So taking a look at the menu, I did go for a crab, as well as some other stuff. Where is it coming from? It's from Japan. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. Now, I have to say the uni was spectacular. If you saw my recent video from Boston, that was a travesty. Yes, this is costing a fortune, but really, really good. And the way it's presented, you can kind of plate it up on a slice of cucumber with fresh, real wasabi. Back to the crab's eye view. Now, talking of the crab, they actually suggested kind of doing half the legs as grilled and half the legs as tempura, but because I generally don't like deep fried stuff, I asked them to do all but two grilled and only two in tempura style. When it came out, oh, it's looking good. The tempura one came a little bit later and they actually fill the head with egg white and some seasoning and then steam that away for you so that you've got an extra dish coming a little bit later in the evening. I continued to work on the crab and my bottle of wine. I have to say it was all cooked perfectly, but I would go with their suggestion and get half-half because of the nature of that type of crab, the grilling process, it clings to the shell, which makes it quite difficult to get out. Now, I don't mind working for my food, and as I said, it was really well cooked, really nice, soft, gentle flavor. Actually, the tempura was a lot easier to eat, and I think it actually reproduced the flavor just as well. Time to refill. And here is the steamed crab head or body, whichever way you want to look at it. Really, really tasty. Thank you. One bite. So as I plowed along eating through the crab, it was a really nice meal, but Full disclosure, this may be the most expensive meal I've ever had on this channel. With the crab, a full bottle of French Sauvignon Blanc, the uni sea urchin, I also happen to get some crab dumplings, crab paste, and crab meatloaf, and they comped a little dessert. This comes in at Hong Kong dollars, $3,358. And that, my friends, is a whopping 428 US dollars. Great food, high prices. I'd suggest you go with a few friends, try a few different things, and try and get the price per person down to less than half of that. Please do like and subscribe for your seat at the table for my future search for the world's best seafood.